Well, welcome to the ProBrick exclusive YouTube channel where we look at all things unusual, that's for sure. Um, what have we got? We have got, not that one, it's an old one. This woman here, Georgia woman, arrested four years after boyfriend killed and found in shallow grave. Four years ago. This just came out four hours ago at the time of this recording. The girlfriend of a Georgia man found dead in a shallow grave has been arrested and charged with his murder, authorities said in a release Friday. New worker Hurt and her boyfriend faces charges of mal malice murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, tampering with evidence and concealing the death of another person for the 2019 killing of Sean Jackson, the Clayton County Sheriff's Office said. Now, it's her brother and herself. My goodness me, what the hell? What's, a, what's going on here? Hurt of Jonesboro filed a missing person report on Jackson, July 31st, 2019, authorities said. She doesn't look like someone that would kill her boyfriend does she guys can we have something in the comments does she look like someone that would kill her boyfriend and bury him in a shallow grave with a brother mate georgia trial jail transfer 600 minutes okay it's another story investigators later learned jackson was having an affair with another man now what did i say to you and what i will always say on this channel guys about triangulated relationships Someone is always going to get hurt in a triangulated relationship. Someone is always, always going to get hurt. Hurt found out and had a fight with him in front of the mistress's home. The pair then went home and fought throughout the night. Does she look like someone that's worth fighting over to you? I don't think so. Jackson's throughout the night. Jackson's son, Nicholas, who was 17 at the time, said Hurt and his father eventually calmed down and went to sleep. He was awakened the next morning by Hurt saying that his dad left the home in the middle of the night. Jackson's remains were found weeks later in Jefferson County, Alabama, in a shallow grave. This is, my goodness, gosh, the evil guys, the evil that these people will lower themselves to. Now, this ain't all women. This is just this particular instance here. But if you have a conscience about your behavior, you better check yourself. And the way you're carrying on with your man and things like that. Investigators later determined Hurt shot Jackson three times in the head. She shot him three times in the head while he was asleep. She then called her brother, Shron Stephen Hurt, to help dispose of the body. And the, the brother did, like, call the coppers and get these. But now, he's an accessory after the fact now. He's gone. Just call the police and dob them in. I've had um, my sons uh, a couple of years ago had fallouts with their mother and stuff like that. I just call the police. He is currently incarcerated in a federal prison in West Virginia for an unrelated crime. New worker Hurt was arrested in an Atlanta apartment and is being held in the Clayton County Jail. She shot her, well, the father of a child, three times in the head because she was having an affair. These women will do anything to get what they want. And our verse for today is uh, Proverbs 11.19. Godly people find life. Evil people find death. Godly people find life. But evil people find death. The sad part about this is, viewers, that um, a lot of the people, a lot of good people, end up with mixed up people. And that's where things come undone. Again, we have another triangulated story where an innocent person's been shot three times in the head 
and buried in a shallow grave at the hands of the lust of this particular woman. Subscribe, ring the bell, like, care, share, um, comment, um, and we'll see you on the next one on ProBrick Exclusive YouTube channel.